Hi everybody, it's Q and welcome back to my tapes. In this video, we are going to be discussing how Doja Cat almost ruined her career. That's part one. But part two is how she ended up ascending over these other rap girls. Like how was Doja Cat the best girl? The best girl. If you watch anime, you know what that is. The best girl out of the, out of the others. Like how did this happen? If that's anything you want to listen to, then like just keep watching. So this story begins in May 2020 when Doja Cat does a song. She does a song and she records it with Nicki Minaj, a woman named <laughs> a woman named Nicki Minaj, I'm sure a few months prior. They release it, it ascends, it ascends, and then hits number one on the charts. That's just the scenery. That's the scenery. And then not even, not even like a few, like I almost say, say like not even like a full 24 hours. Like she, her, like her song gets number one that we start hearing some really strange reports on Doja Cat. We're, we're, we're seeing some strange information come out on Doja Cat. Suddenly, next thing we know, we see like photos of her in a chat room leaked the next thing you know, there's like a video of her in a chat room uh, saying disturbing things. Honestly, it was very, very disturbing. Like, I, I don't even want to repeat it. Like, I'm, I'm sure by now you guys know, like, you know, I'm just setting the scene here. But, you know, very, very disturbing videos of her kind of like in this white supremacist, racist ass, like, chat room. Like, just saying really disturbing things. Um, I believe she also gets doxxed um, for, like, cam girling, which I'm going to talk about in a second. I don't know if I will, but I'll talk about that in a second. Um, and we were shocked. Because we were just like, you just got a number one. You just got a number one. So I'm, I'm trying to understand, like, you got a number one. What are you doing here? You just got a number one. What are you doing here? Like, here, here, here. What are you doing here? Why and why? Come on. Answer quickly, quickly, quickly. Why is it that not even a week, not even an hour, not even, like, a few days after I pray, like, we are getting reports of you being silly on the Internet? like you aren't trying to advance your career and that sets the stage of what could have been the ruination of a miss doja cat period so i'm gonna insert some personal thoughts to this day i still find like the videos like very disturbing i f i feel like i still feel like Perhaps Doja Cat may or may not have identity issues, you know what I mean? And hopefully she she, she can get some therapy for that. Um, you know what I mean? It, you know, it's alleged. And another thing I'm going to say allegedly is that around the time, I also felt like she may or may not have been dealing with drug issues. <laughs> like, I, you see how long it took me to say that? Like, I feel like at the time and still now, you know, like, you know, even with like, for example, Meg, like, I feel like, unfortunately, due to, you know, Megan's like, um, losses, um, and, and really deep, like PTSD from like losing her parents and losing her close family and her close inner circle. Like, I feel like, and this is alleged that, you know, she has like alcoholism issues, um, but but that's like a completely another topic for another day but i feel like it must be said and this is alleged this is alleged that it must be said um you know that she could possibly maybe b hypothetically allegedly be have have been dealing with like substance issues like you know stop 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 like sniffing like hydrophical and like cyprezazine and crack like maybe you need to stop consuming these other substances so that you can be in like a full state of mind but th whatever um we'll talk we're done here we're done here with that topic um something else that I wanted to say you know in the title I still don't know what I want to title this you know guys let me be honest I had actually recorded a video in May of 2020 talking about how I felt Doja Cat was actually set up she either set herself up or she was set up. She was either set up or she set herself up. I think it was a mixture of both. Um, and at the time, unfortunately, the reason why I won't release that that recording is because I felt like I sounded a little sleepy on that track. 
you know, but I felt like I wanted to come in with new energy just because I have further thoughts on where her career was going and why I feel like after the after this stunt she pulled and how they were just like, bro, we will pull this shit away from you. How dare you? And and honestly, to this day, I'm still a little like mm, at the fact that like Nicki Minaj, of course, she gets her first number one. It's not her first one, number one, I don't think, but she got a number one. But like with this foolishness added to it, it's just like you got to be kidding me. Like you, you, she can't get anything without it being tainted in some way. And I don't know that that always like that always kills me. That of course, like of course, something, of course, some fucking girl, some biracial girl with bi- identity issues is in some fucking Nazi chat room talking about the N word this N word that, like just just like fuck shit like just like i can't even imagine i honestly i would not be able to look that girl in the face like seriously seriously but i think that she saw her career flash before her eyes rapidly 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 and she wasn't under that rock nation protection i don't think people know this but um doja cat was signed to rock nation um but she's no longer signed to rock nation and this this was like this was i think before 2020 this was like 2000 maybe 18 or 19 she's been making she's been trying to like blow up for a while doja cat isn't like quote unquote new to the industry i don't even think people know this but doja cat also dropped out of high school actually to pursue music so you know you know what i mean like just background things you know um but i felt like at the time she was setting herself up or she was set up and that was a cause for concern because it's shitty either way like at the time i was just like first of all if you set yourself up if we go with that assumption what the hell were you doing in these chat rooms a week after? You don't take this seriously? I don't think you take this seriously. I don't think you take yourself seriously. I don't think you take your talent seriously. And this is why. This is why you 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 act as stupid. Like, this is your job. Is this not your dream? Like, is this not your dream? What the fuck are you doing talking to randos on Reddit? Your whole face. You weren't even going to wear a mask. Your whole face. You couldn't even go buy some silicon mask on Amazon. You see some of these these fucking racist people, they were wearing hoods. They were wearing that KKK hoods in, in the video. Like, I don't know that. I can't remember that if that was true. But I'm just saying, like, what are you doing? And and the re- and I won't recall the whole thing. I don't even want to keep kind of rehashing some of these details. Because, like I said, to this day, they're still very disturbing. I'm just like this is beyond my car this is beyond me it's beyond my reality i have no clue why someone would want to like i i I could i could never see myself kind of conversing and using these words that obviously pertain to someone who looked like me in that manner i'm not it's very disturbing for me personally so i i you know for maybe i should put a trigger warning i don't know but for the sake of me for the sake of q i'm gonna stop kind of rehashing details um and then you know, so that's if she set herself up, why? Like, why are you start trying to self-sabotage? Like, what is it that you feel internally that you you are conducting yourself in this manner? Like, did you want to get caught? Oh, that's another question. Like, did you want to get caught? Is it that, it, was this a cry for help? Was this a cry for help? Honest question. Like, if I, I'm, asking, I'm asking you the audience as I asked myself at the time when this took place. The second question that I had was, you know, if you didn't set yourself up, then maybe somebody set you up. But why? But who? But why? And obviously now we have a little bit more information, right? Now we have some information that some of the people that, you know, were posting all this information had lied and they were mad because she rejected him and, you know, some incel shit. But I'm like, I still feel like, why are you conversing with like these scraggly, rando, poor white boys? Like, like why, why, like, why are you even entertaining these like scraggly people in the first place? But regardless, there were some people that had come out saying that they had manufactured some of the information and her involvement in these chats. And I'm like, who sent you? Who paid you to do this? Who asked you to do this? Right after she got a number one, they were probably sitting on this information. And you know what? I think that pretty much wraps up part one. I think that pretty much wraps up part one. Um, I don't know. I kind of, you know, it's like I, I redid the video. I condensed it and... 
And yet, I still feel like I want to dedicate, like, a separate video talking about, like, just the premise of why is Doja Cat better than the rest of you peasants? Like, why? Why and how? Because I feel like some people, unfortunately, due to the scandal, due to the scandal, I feel like people were just like, bro, you're talented. You are talented. You do have that, like, you do have that something. You do have that something. Why are you acting this way? Why would you be doing these things? Why? Why? Why are you doing these things? Why? And I just feel like kind of talking about the talent is maybe something that I want to do separately from this video. So this is what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to stop here. This is the end of the video. Um, I want to ask you guys some questions that I want you guys to answer me in the comment below. This is not a question, but I'm going to say this. Subscribe. If you feel my energy right now, if you, I don't know, if you're like vibing, I just subscribe like we can talk about different stuff okay like I watch anime I want to talk about why I feel Attack on Titan I I want to talk about why I I, I I haven't why I'm not caught up completely I think I, I stopped at like episode 10 because I had some stuff to do but like for the past couple of weeks to a month but I kind of feel like we're 16 episodes enough to end this season like we're, we're 16 episodes really enough and because I haven't watched the full thing I'm like I'm hearing a lot of stuff from this manga which I don't like spoilers but I had kind of heard some slippish things about what could possibly happen and I'm like is that enough time is this enough time do you guys have like enough like animation runtime to finish this story properly please do not like well, it's too late. That the twenty first, I believe, is the, this weekend, so they're gonna release the stuff. But regardless, but yeah, I'm just saying that I have the range. Okay, we can talk about different stuff. So number one, subscribe, please. I haven't asked that before. I don't know. I we'll see, baby. Um, number two, please comment below because, like, actually, I said this before in my Azulia Banks video, but my main purpose of making videos. And some videos I'm sure may be messier than others is more so that I can just talk to people and engage with people, even if it's just with a small amount of people. So I more so really care. I think I really care about like kind of chatting with ideas to people that I don't know, but share similar interests. You feel me? So that's kind of where, where I am. So please subscribe. Please like the video. Please comment. Um, I do have the range. And so essentially we can talk about whatever the fuck we want. Um, nothing salacious I'm you know what I mean like there's some things that I'm sure I won't talk about like you know what I mean talk with your friends about it no shade um but yeah questions to round up the video for you guys thinking about where Doja Cat is now as a talent as someone who's rising to the top what are your thoughts on the events that took place that last year what do you think about that number one number two why do you think Doja Cat is so talented? Like, why? Like, what Like, do, what sort of factor do you think that she has? What, what is it? Is it her styling? Is it her design? Is it, like, the music? Is it the topics? Which I'm actually going to end that. I, I do have an ending note to that. And in terms of her resolve, in terms of where she is at now, I'll end the video off with that. My third question is, what artists do you see rising? What artists do you see rising that have that it factor? Or if they're, like, an act, like a band? Okay. Um, and they're, you know, fresher faces. You know what I mean? Like newer faces. People were kind of like new to. Okay. This is where I'm going to end the video. This is the conclusion. Where is Doja Cat at right now? Doja Cat, after the event, she saw the way that her career could get snatched, snatchedy, snatch, snatched. And she, I think, partially went to rehab allegedly i think like she really got some sort of help in some regards i'm hoping that she did get therapy there is therapy for like celebrities or like acts or like you know musicians and all these people in the public eye and i think that maybe she might have sought like some sort of like professional consultation i think regardless whoever her label are who her labels are or her backers like her financial backers or like you better sit the fuck down with the professional and fix this because I don't ever want to see this shit happen again I think that she wisened up I also think that because the, because she saw the way that her career could disap, di, could dissipate I think that she was just like okay I I have to toughen up I have to tighten up and I can't do this shit anymore. All this like jokey joke stuff. I don't think I can do it the way that I was 
being reckless because I do want people to take my work seriously. I've been working at this shit for almost a decade. I think she's been doing this for like seven years, six years. She dropped out of high school. I believe she's like 26. Now, like she almost like eight years, maybe like she has been working on this. And, and she literally said, I think she said this on a live, how she said, I no longer, I'm not making these jokey joke songs anymore. Like the moo song and all this stuff. Like, yeah, it was a meme. And I was like, jokey joke. Like, like I do want people to take me seriously in my craft and in my art. And so I'm no longer going to engage in some of these behaviors anymore. I think that she got some media training. I think she had to get some media. I think her financial backers were like, you need to get media training and shut up. You need to get some media training and start learning how to behave. Like this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. And like there are so many other people who are talented and are quirky and are kind of fun and and have this parasocial relationship kind of like energy about them without being in racist chat rooms that call black people the n-word including yourself so that's what i think took place thoughts questions i am here i'm fucking ready um i don't know what i want to talk about next i don't know i i literally have like ideas in the vault i do have like recorded videos but some of them i listen back to and i'm like this isn't really the energy isn't completely there and that's okay so I think I might have to re-record it which I hate doing so I'd rather just record like a new thought because I've already kind of talked about it somewhere even if it's like for my personal archive you know what I mean so I actually think I want to talk about your favorite influencer is a scammer or a contrepreneur featuring your faves I do have some people I want to talk about um, it's all alleged. I just, I don't know. I just, I've had a thoughts about this in terms of like consumerism and scamming and capitalism and just how a lot of these influencers, they're not like talented. They're not like business savvy. They just have a platform. They have distribution, but they're like, they're not competent. They are not competent. And, and also kind of maybe just talking about flex culture, which is such like a 2018 thing to talk about, but just kind of this idea of how like, I, I don't know as you you can tell like I'm black like you know what I mean like I feel like some of these black people take advantage of other black people and try to sell them a dream based off of what they are flexing they, they no 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 they're literally trying to sell them a course like they're really trying to sell them a course when you know and I know that your proximity to this wealth is not something that I'm gonna learn here because that's not an access or privilege that I have okay but you see that's what I want to talk about so that's a preview so if that's something you want to listen to me talk about please let me know or if you have another talk please let me know all right this has been another one of my tapes this has been q and i will talk to you guys in a few bye Thank you.